If you've been following my life at all, <laughs> you know that for the last nine months, we have been living in renovation hell. Um, the job that was supposed to take three months was then going to take four months. Finally, after nine months um, and the last five weeks of nobody showing up for work and nobody making contact, uh, I had to pull the plug and fire our contractor. And in the course of that, he had left his trailer full of tools and a whole bunch of stuff around the yard um, that he's never, and he did come to get his trailer, but the other stuff he's never come back to get. And I have text messaged him, I have emailed him, I have cajoled him, I have threatened him, I have done everything that I know to do besides what is all that's left to do is to determine that it is abandoned and have someone haul it off. No matter what I've done, all of the angst and anxiety that I have put into trying to get this stuff out of our yard and to get him to do what he was expected to do has been for nothing. For teachers who are watching this who are in my SLC at Fulton, Friday of this week is our hard deadline for the first half of the semester. And we have a lot of kids who have missing assignments and missing work. <clears throat> and I know that you have spent hours and hours and hours tracking them down, emailing them, contacting them in person, calling home to talk to parents, anything and everything that you can do to get these kids to turn in their missing work and get their grade up above an F. And no matter what you've done, that work is still missing. And on Friday, when the deadline passes and that work still has not turned in, whatever you do, do not blame yourself. This is a decision that someone else has made about their own life. A personal decision of freedom. Now yes, there are extenuating circumstances for some, and we will help those students if we can. But for many, they have had every single opportunity afforded them by you as their teacher, and they are still going to go into spring break with a big fat F in their report card in Aspen. And that is not your fault. But you know what? That doesn't make it any easier. That doesn't make it any less likely that you're gonna lay awake at home at night worrying about these kids and worrying about when they're going to get their act together and worrying about whether they're going to graduate or not and whatever you can do to help them you're going to do it and I get that I do but the bottom line is it is not you it's just not we are doing the dead level best we can in a world of hurt at the moment through pandemic and virtual learning and kids who won't come to school and all kinds of other things that are going on and kids who've been sent home because they're sick and teachers who've been sick and people who are afraid to come to school and all of the other stuff. And we're bracing for a difficult end academically. But again, don't wrap yourself up in guilt. Please, do not wrap yourself up in guilt. You've done all you can do. And as the old saying goes, if you've done all you can do, all you can do is enough. I'll see you next week.